Hey you guys, it's Tanya. What's going on? Okay, so I want to do this video to give you guys pointers. And when I say you guys, anyone who is going down to the World Natural Hair Show this weekend who has never been down there before, I'm talking to you, so listen up. I want to give you pointers on just tools of the trade for going down there. Things that you should know, things that, that, that hopefully can help you have a better <laughs> World Natural Hair Show experience. But before we get started, I have a little sidebar. You guys see my hair? Yeah. It is really humid here, I guess, and hot, so I cannot seem to keep my curl pattern defined. Um, I go outside in the elements and whoosh, I lose it. So for anyone who's watching this video, if you have a go-to product to do your twist outs and maintain curl definition, whether it be a cream or a butter or something else, um, I have very high porosity hair, so if you have any suggestions on a product that I can use to set my twist, that way when I do a twist out, it will all be uniform and stay, all, it will stay nice and defined rather than poofing out and frizzing out, please, please, please put the comment below. I would so appreciate your help. And if you want, you can do a video below. Just attach a video telling me how you do your hair and what you do to maintain that style at night. Just any and all suggestions would help. Okay, so getting back to the tips for the World Natural Hair Show. The first and most important tip I want to give you is to bring cash. Cold, hard cash. This is actually not my cash. <laughs> this is Narika D's cash because sadly Narika D can't go. Um, there's just too much going on this weekend for her and, and I understand and trust me, if, it was, if I was in her shoes, I wouldn't be able to go either, but um, she's going to be there in spirit with me. And but anyway, bring cash, you guys. And I ask you to bring cash for two reasons. The first reason is this. When you go into the convention center for the World Natural Hair Show, it's this really big room with all of these vendors. I mean, it's just a room full of vendors. Whoops. There we go. Sorry about that. Well, you're like a kid in a candy store. You're going you're gonna to be so just stimulated, or should I say overstimulated, by all of the vendors there. There's going to be hair products being sold. There's going to be jewelry being sold, um, cosmetics being sold. So you're just going to be like, I, I, don't, I don't know where to start. And if you have your credit card or your debit card, it's going to be very easy for you to go over your budget. So set a budget using cash and bring cash with you and be done with it. And plus, here's the thing. If you have cash and this is all that you have, you're going to be more selective of the things that you choose. You're going to choose things that you know that you're going to use because the cash is going to be gone soon. So you're just going to be more selective and you'll make better choices with your hair products because you'll know, hey, once my cash is gone, I don't have any more money. So again, bring cash. The second reason why you should bring cash is because the signal in the convention center is absolutely horrible. I don't know if it's gotten better because I, I didn't go last year. I went two years ago. But let's put it this way. Your cell phone battery is going to drain very quickly because your cell phone is going to be constantly searching for a signal which is going to drain its power. I suggest you put your cell phone on airplane mode. That way it doesn't try to search for a signal, therefore not draining your battery. Um, yeah you are going to not have a signal inside the convention center. That being said, people who, are try to use, people who will try to use credit card machines or try to use their cell phones as credit card machines, they'll keep disconnecting. So you won't be able to make a, make a purchase with them because your credit card won't go through. Trust me, this, this happened. Um, even with the bigger companies who bought credit card machines, they kept timing out. They had to actually do the old-fashioned swipe of the credit card and you know write you a receipt just because no one can get a signal inside the convention center. So bring cash. You bring credit card, you might not be able to make any purchases. I'm just putting that out there. Okay, next thing. Bring something to carry your products in. Whether it be something like this. This is my old faithful. Just a one-strap backpack. I wear this with me and put my products in the backpack that I purchased. It also controls the amount of money I spend too. Another safeguard to spending, to, to rationing how much I spend on products. But let me tell you, 
you're going to get lots of um, plastic little shopping bags or the little paper bags with the little straps from these vendors. After a while, those are going to weigh you down, they're going to hurt your shoulders, they're going to hurt your back, they're going to hurt your hands. You want your hands free. I mean, obviously you guys know <laughs> I talk with my hands, so I want my hands free. So I want a backpack. That way I can carry the backpack on my back and my hands are free to move and be free to talk and be, be my second hand of expressions. Uh, I saw a lot of people with rolling suitcases also. They would just bring a second piece of luggage to pack their products in. And so during the, the, the hair show, they're, they're just going through the convention with their rolling luggage. So it's whatever you want, but come prepared, you guys. If you bring one of those like recyclable handbags or plastic bags, your hands are going to be killing you by the, end of the, and by the time you leave. Trust me. Be hands-free. Like I said, a rolling bat suitcase or a backpack. Do not go there not prepared. What else? What else? What else? Something else. Oh, make a list. Go on the website of Talia Wajid's um, World Natural Hair Show and look at all the vendors that are going to be there. Make a list of the products that you absolutely want from those vendors and make a list next to that product how much it costs normally. Here's why. S some vendors will give you great discounts. Like you might get buy one get one free or half off of products. Other vendors won't give you any kind of discount. Why would you buy something from a vendor who doesn't discount their products? I, I, I wouldn't. So you need to know how much that stuff is normally priced. That way you won't get hustled and pay full price for something. You don't do it normally, do you? Nope. <laughs> so again, make a list of all the items that you want. Nose is itching. Make a list of all the items that you want and the prices they normally cost. Okay? And that's going to be another safeguard along with the size of the luggage <laughs> and the cash that you bring. That way that you're not overspending because you're just too happy and overstimulated in the World Natural Hair Show and you see all the stuff that you want and you just can't control it yourself. <laughs> okay? Um, there are going to be obviously hair vendors there. So you're going to have all kinds of hair products. There are going to be jewelry vendors there. Earrings, necklaces, um, rings out the wazoo. There's going to be cosmetic vendors there. So it's going to be very hard for you to control yourself, trust me. There's also going to be people there who are going to be selling garbage. It is what it is. But let me tell you, there also are people who are going to be selling raw products like raw shea butter, raw mango butter, and it's going to be a great price. So definitely go online and see how much you pay normally for shea butter, see how much you pay for mango butter. Those kind of products, if you actually use those, um, Write down how much you normally pay and then go there and if they have those things for cheap, get them. Last year or two years ago, Narika and I got, gosh, like three tubs each of shea butter for crazy mad cheap. And because we had cash, we were able to negotiate the price down a little bit. I'm just saying. Cash works wonders for people because they don't have to, well, we won't go into that. But I'm just saying, make sure you have your cash and make sure you have your um, bartering game on. That's all I'm going to say about that. What else? What else? What else? Okay, last thing. Don't go down to Atlanta just for the World Natural Hair Show. If you've never been to Atlanta before, this is the time to see Atlanta. You guys, Atlanta is amazing. There are malls galore, and not just regular malls like you have at home. There are high-end malls, and there's Perimeter Mall, and there's Linux Mall, which are off the chain. There are, I think, three outlet malls within an hour of Atlanta, okay? There's also numerous natural hair stores in Atlanta. Um, I'll put the names of the stores below in the link um, in the description box so you can see where those are located. There's also natural hair manufacturers in Atlanta and surrounding areas. Um, Darcy's Botanical is northwest of Atlanta. Um, Basque. Basque is south in Macon, Georgia, which is about an hour south of Atlanta. I don't know if they'll be open on the weekends because hers, she doesn't have a front retail store, I don't believe. I think hers is just a, um, a main, like a, I guess you could say a manufacturing plant. So she just makes her products there. So I don't think she has a store. But there are just so many places. And she, I'm excited. Food. You guys, there are so many good restaurants in Atlanta. I, whenever I go down there, and let me just tell you, one of my besties, 
who I've known since birth, she um, went to school down there and stayed. And so I'll try to go down there and see her at least once or two, once every other year. And we always have a ball. And that's what I plan on doing. Like I said, you're going to see me um, Saturday. I will be at the natural hair show Saturday morning. So probably when they open to maybe about 1, one o'clock, I'll be there. And let me tell you, just so you're aware, <laughs> I am 6'1", so I'm really tall. But don't let that stop you. <laughs> please, if you see me, please come and say hi. Now, I'm not good with names. I'm just put that out there right now. I'm horrible with names, but I do remember faces. And I want to talk to each and every one of you. So definitely stop me. Let's chat. Let's walk around. Um, you know, I'm very friendly in person. <laughs> and I love to talk. So definitely, please come. If you see me, come up to me. Um, I don't know what I'm going to wear yet because I haven't decided about outfits. haven't decided about hair. I have no idea what I'm going to do, um, and it's tomorrow. Like, I haven't started packing a bag yet, and I'll leave tomorrow morning at about 9 to go down to Atlanta. So that should be quite interesting. But, yeah, I just want to give you those tips. So, you guys, what did you learn from today's video? Do we need to do a recap? Okay, we'll do a quick recap. Tips for the World Natural Hair Center. I'm sorry. World Natural Hair Show. Bring cash. <laughs> Bring a set amount of cash so you don't go over budget. Okay? Make a list. Make a list of the items that you want to get for sure. Get those first. And then the excess money you have left over, have, have fun with it. Or save that money for something else. But don't just buy because you are overstimulated by all the vendors in front of you. Stop and think. It's all right to stop, think about it, put it on the shelf, and come back on Sunday. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, bring something to carry your products in. I'm bringing a backpack, but a lot of people bring either backpacks or rolling, like rolling luggage. The people who didn't bring those items, they left early because they were exhausted and they were tired of carrying all that stuff. Um, that the, the bags that you're going to get from the vendors are not going to be um, long carrying friendly. It will cost money to park in the convention center, so bring cash for that also. Um, you will have to pay for parking at the convention center. I'm trying to think if that's it. That's all I got. But you guys, again, I look so forward to seeing everyone um, tomorrow night and Saturday morning. I am just so excited. I really wish Nurika D was going to be there with me, but she has tried every single angle to come at this, and she just could not get home or leave home to go down to Atlanta this weekend. This weekend was just the ultimate worst weekend for her. But yeah, she'll be there in spirit, you guys. And I'm going to stop talking. So with that, guess what, you guys? I holla!